story this that kaya kya married to the man make the man selling the house when he's supposed to left this house where the man sell the wife by you know the first wife or the first wife by the house where the man sell it to them buy you understand because the lady i know her very well i know the first wife she's such a sweet lady she used to work at one insurance company because she didn't try to get work for my daughter at the same insurance company. And he, the lady dead from cancer. And he buy the house and they have one child together. And I understand what the man have other children. And this a woman never did know. She let the man sell the house and then buy one different house. In a fear name, everything in a fear name. The boss when the man have everything in a fear. Go fit change over everything in a fear name to you to you know. She not, she not fear, she not fear, and that is why she dead. And me talk, you know, me say God would people them, and not easy set up people them. I know easy set up people them. Me go to funeral, and me and them, you know, argument about park, and me just drive away, left the funeral. Come in the one, they come kill me up there, then come from mouth peace, you know, and over here. You may tell you? Right, I went to the funeral, and me and them catch up up there, as I see her park. But God would have a good, good friend. She's very wicked. She's a very wicked woman. Very, very wicked. Oh, if you want to rub for the man's children, them. You can't do that. See, we're dead. See, there? I'm gone. Batman and chase Batman and then crash in front of Iberia Star. Them running out of van with the bus where they did that drive in front of Iberia Star and them dead. Them dead at the hospital. So the man that wanted it married. But there's a problem now because some house problem and land problem because she had the wife. She not, them said she not share it right. So uh, a long time. Even when she went to the funeral, a bodyguard she would go with get the news fast up there. Out my ears has some credit card. Something a man to go be able to dismantle. And I know how true it is or the good thing is that they get the license plate. Nobody care where the boy go in. You know. So they may track that plate there to the owner. So they may soon know how it go. Yo, Shen. That woman is going around and all the things in the car because that woman is rub up the whole of God with money, you know, we didn't pity them, you know. Run out, they pity them, go to their house and all, man, and feel evil, you know, brother. The man, wicked deep in them, you know, the man, God would sell out the whole of the house, man, put the whole of the money in their name, you know. And I run out, he's like a 14-year-old son, I think he's 14-year-old son, you know. Wicked, God would have bought about three, four bus, the whole band, Run God insurance claims everything, you know, you what? Because God would first wife the dead. So he run go married to this woman. He's a woman that claims everything left you them pan and fierce. All one house of Rosa is the woman wanting to sell, you know. But him first wife the bill, you know. Brother, I all the things that woman go on with you, know, man. Yeah, man, I got a girl with wife, man. Can I see a picture? Man, can I see a picture? The woman got the insurance for the brand new boss. The woman claims every dollar and I give you them none, you know? <laughs> that one. Yo, Shen. That woman is going around and all the things in that car because that woman is wrap up the whole of God with money, you know? We didn't pick them, you know? Run out, they pick them out to their house and all, man, and feel you know, brother. The man, wicked deep in them, you know, the man, make God would sell out the whole line house, man, put the whole line money in their name, you know. And run out, he's like a 14-year-old son. Uh, I think he's 14-year-old son, you know. Wicked, the guy would have bought about three, four bus, the whole band, run God the insurance claims everything, you know, you what? Because God would first wife the dead. So he run go married to this woman. He's a woman that claims everything left you them pan and fierce. All one house of Rosa is the woman wanting to sell, you know. But him first wife, the bill, you know. Brother, 
Awa lipa things za umwa la guwa wiji na man. Ya yeah, man, kaka bga wad wife man. Ka mi see picture, ka mi see picture. The woman got the insurance out for the brand new bus. The woman claims every dollar and I give you them none, you know? And it was said that Garwood had multiple buses. I think he had about four buses. So he was doing very well financially and multiple houses. So you can imagine his four buses and his multiple houses. And he passes away and this woman took everything. That is the story. Now that voice note combined with this voice note. I was on one and one Jota, man. I'm on a dispatch of them. I'm dead. Last year, late last year. Um, some bad man did a run down. Bad man a chase bad man. And then crash in front of Iberia Star. Them running out of van with the bus where he did a drive in front of Iberia Star and them dead. Them dead at the hospital. So the man that woman did marry it. But there's a problem now because some house problem and land problem because she had the wife she na them said she na share it right so uh, a long time we, when she went to the funeral a body girl she go with hmm even when she went to the funeral a body girl she did go with now people remember these are voice notes okay and we often have voice notes from people who only passing along hearsay and a lot of people pass along hearsay as if it is factual and they know it to be true. I myself, so flow, I'm not going to stick my name and my credibility to any of it thinking that it is true. I am just sharing what's being said out there so that the audience can do as usual and put one and one together and connect the dots and then do as I am doing as well, which is wait for the Jamaica Constabulary Force to give us the findings of their investigations Jamaica Constabulary Force on Twitter published an update just a minute ago and the update says that three persons are in custody and the vehicle that was used as the getaway vehicle is also in their custody it has been seized all right rumor says that he is the mastermind he her stepson so if we put these information together her stepson now in custody along with two others make up the three persons that are, have been arrested following her shooting in the church and also to add to that the information through these voice notes the one that says she rub up everything she never give them nothing and they wasn't having it the three stories that are out there. There was a story that says that her husband died in an accident last year and she sued the people that were involved and they put out a hit on her. That's one of the stories. The next story says that she broke up a huge credit card fraud ring in Montego Bay and, she put, and they put a hit out on her. Then the third story, which seems to be the story, is that she took everything her dead husband left behind and cut all his children out of everything and apparently from what i'm hearing daddy was a breadwinner and everybody was okay financially while daddy was alive but once daddy passed away then this woman took everything and everybody started hurting financially that's the story now I know a lot of people are going to say if even if is that is the story so flow she didn't deserve to die the way she deserved to die they should have fought her in court over it they should have went the legal route use law enforcement involved if necessary use the law use the court system and all this other stuff but how you gonna fight people when them have money and you barely have money for pay a lawyer because you were left broke you were taken out of the inheritance by a woman that your father married. I was told that his first wife got sick and she died from cancer. Him and his first wife had bought houses and all these things. I was also told that after the first wife passed, the second wife, which is the one that got killed in the church, she made sure after they were married, 
that the man put everything in her name. Even the house that they bought together, him and his first wife who died of cancer, she made sure that he sold that house and then they bought a house together and she put her name on that house. So when he passed, the children had nothing to get and she was in control of all the finances and all the material assets. Someone claiming to be her friend messaged us at SoFlow TV to say that, yes, it's true. She did a move too greedy and that is why them kill her so. She a good woman, you know, but she did a move too greedy is what we have been told. Boy, it's sad all the way around still. Just like we talk about all the time, you know what I'm saying? Um, I, I don't even know what to say, like the way how this was done. When we talk about conflict resolution and we talk about people making the right choice. Now, this Utah in police custody, let's say hypothetically speaking, let's say that this, the narrative is true. Let's say the story is true. The woman took everything and left everybody destitute, cut out of the breadwinner's will, and then begs about it. Because hard life is not something easy, you know, and poverty is not something easy. So when you see somebody rob you of your inheritance, it takes strength to walk away. Or it takes strength to wait for years and fight them in court. Worst part is if you're gonna fight them in court and lose anyways and use up all your little resources trying to fight them in court to get to the bigger payday and that bigger payday never come, they walk away with everything anyways. So I understand how some people could think that damn, this is the way to go out or to go about doing it. But right now, if that's the case, this youth are gonna lose him life too. Because the way, the gruesomeness of how this murder was committed, when them fling you away a prison, you're not coming out no time soon, and you're definitely not coming out to any inheritance. So you kill the woman, the woman's smart, because the woman makes sure that everything in a fair name. So whoever is her next of kin, or whoever she wills to get, whatever is left behind, the whole of the man things gone to them anyways it still will not be going to you it's crazy i am more concerned with the mindset of some people that it's okay to go commit murder in a church in a, the middle of a church service come on man come on me not too for the church thing. I grew up in the church. But as I got older I learned more. You understand? But I'm not against the church either. Because I've seen the church. And I've seen religion. Turn some dirty nasty thinking people. Into some good upstanding citizens. Where they can look back and say. Yeah one time me used to be like this you know. But the Lord saved me and turned my life around. Who am I? To say anything bad about that. From you went from bad to good. I don't care what got you there. Anything that got you there. Me like it. As long as you went from bad to good. So the church represents. A place of reverence. A place of prayer. A place of deep meditation upon God. Or their perception of God. Regardless. It is what the church stands for. The sanctity of the church was violated. And to think that somebody can actually go inside of a church and kill somebody. Not like they killed somebody who was cleaning up the church. And this was after church hours and them trailer going there. Them killer in a the middle of church service. That alone was also very stupid. And I said it before. That they are going to get caught easily because there is no way. Unless everybody in the church decides that they are not going to tell. There is absolutely no way they were going to get away with this. From them said the person was sitting behind her in the church. And then get up and fire and gunshot. Enough gunshot in the church during service. 
and then run out of the church down the road to a waiting car. That tells me that this person didn't have a mask on. That tells me that the person who was sitting beside this person and behind this person has a good look at who the shooter is. This wasn't a mask up drive by. This was in a church 10 13 at the morning. Stupid, stupid move. Anyhow, people, that is what we have so far. And like I said, the Jamaica Constabulary Force has already said that they have three persons in custody to include the stepson of the deceased. The stepson of the deceased is also the son of the father who passed away, which is this, the deceased husband who passed away last year in an accident. Let's see what else comes out of this investigation as this unfolds. One thing I'm glad about though, is that this wasn't no random killing. Like somebody just running our church and saying, we want to kill some people today. Because it would have been even worse or bad. I can't say, if, I, I, I mean, I would think nothing is worse than this. But to think that we would have people who would just run up in our church for no reason, that would be even worse. But now we get some kind of meat to the story. Now we understand the narrative a little bit better. Let's see what comes out all together. I'm waiting to see what comes out and I'm going to stay tuned. So I suggest that you hit that subscribe button and I suggest that you hit the bell and click the part that says send me all videos. So when I do the update to this story, you will be there to hear it. Or when we go live on this channel on SoFlow TV on YouTube. All right. Catch you on the next video. Walk good walk good i'm out peace